Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. We are going to be cleaning my snake tubs. So I do have three ball pythons and they're definitely due for a tub cleaning. I do use a rack system. Some people prefer tanks over tubs. Personally, I use a rack system. This is just what works for me. I actually built this one myself. I use them over glass tanks just because the humidity is a lot better in tubs. Not only that, but it saves space and when you have a lot of animals, space is definitely something you think about. It's all up to you what you use for your snake's enclosure, but I highly recommend getting a tub of some sort, even if it's not going to be in a rack system, just because they hold humidity a lot better than tanks do. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and start cleaning these tubs. Here is my snake rack. It currently is able to hold four tubs. The top one is currently being used for clothes, but the other three have my ball pythons in it. And if you are wondering, I will go through each one and kind of introduce them to you as well as let you know their genetics. I just realized my fan's been on this whole time, so the audio should definitely be better now. For anyone wondering, these are 40 quart tubs. You can buy them from Walmart or Target and they're about $10 each. This is Miss Jacqueline. She is my G-Stripe pied she doesn't have too much white she's definitely a low white but as you can see on her tail there and on her sides she does have the white also ignore the sharpie on my hand i am going to take miss jacqueline out she's already trying to come out what are you doing so this is jacqueline my pied ball python she's a g-stripe She's so beautiful. And as you can see, Bentley. <laughs> I'm gonna set Jacqueline aside for a minute and we will start cleaning her tub. The first thing I'm gonna do is simply take everything out that is decor wise. So all of her hides and plants in here. Make sure they don't have anything on them. Some old shed. Make sure you get all that off. And you wanna soak these so you can make sure everything is off of them, as in poop, shed, everything. Next, we're gonna take her water bowl out and completely rinse it, clean it, and refill it. Now I'm simply going to throw out all of the old substrate. Now that the tub is nice and clean, for substrate, I used to use the Lugardi bedding, but unfortunately where I live now, that is not an option to go in store and purchase, and ordering it online is more expensive than it already is. Today I'm going to be using Eco Earth instead of the Lugardi. This was the best substitute I could find, and they were out of the 24 quart bags, so I had to get 8 quart ones. So, we're going to open this. Now that you have it open, you're going to fill about an inch deep of Eco Earth or a tiny bit more, but they really don't need much depth to their bedding. You wanna make sure you get all the clumps out and smooth that around. Once the substrate is in and you have about an inch deep you're going to mist it heavily. You wanna make sure that it's damp, but not wet to where water is coming out of it. But as you can see, it's definitely damp enough. After you have your substrate in, you're going to add in all your decor. I personally use these leaves as some enrichment. This cork bark Jacqueline absolutely loves. And then this plain black hide, since she's still a bit smaller, we'll put that about there. Make sure we 
this is around. Also, this is dirt, not poop. So you're going to place your water bowl in and fill it with some water. Once the enclosure is all clean, it is time to add your snake back. Next up, this is Kane. He is a banana G-stripe, so similar to Jacqueline, but he does carry the banana jean. So he has all of his little freckling and his beautiful yellow and purple oranges sherbet colors. Again, we are going to start simply by taking everything out, making sure we don't get dirt everywhere in the process. Clean this completely you want to really scrub these you should be cleaning their water every day as well as misting their tubs every single day if not morning and night the leaves and again dump the substrate once you're done dumping the substrate wipe the tub down and you can refill it If you have reptiles and don't own something like this, you need to. It will save your life. Now that Kane's tub is done, you can add your snake back in. The next snake, we're gonna see what type of mood he is in. He's definitely a more food aggressive snake, a food driven snake, if you will. I noticed Jasper was in shed earlier, so I'm not sure if he has finished shedding, but we will see what is going on. Since I don't want to pick Jasper up, what I'm going to do is kind of clean around him. By the way, Jasper is a Candino pewter, which is a albino candy pewter ball python. He was my first snake and he's my baby boy. He is actually getting so freaking big, which I cannot believe. I just love him so much. The tub should be cleaned at least once a month, if not more, depending on how often your snake is using the bathroom or shedding, but you should definitely be spot cleaning. It's very easy to scoop their poop out as well as pick their sheds up. If your snakes aren't shedding in one piece like this, your snakes most likely don't have high enough humidity. Try adding a larger water bowl. Either switch from a tank to a tub. Tubs hold humidity better. Or make sure that you're spraying your snake's tub at least once a day, if not twice or more, depending on how dry it is. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. There will be more videos in the future on my bow pythons, but for now, that is simply just how to clean their tank. I can do a basic everything you need to know about ball pythons as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my snake rack and how I house my snakes and how I clean their tubs. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. And I love you guys. Bye, babes.